said, well, you know, we talked about sustainability. Uh, the one thing I didn't see was, as farmers, are you limited? You know, we talk about all this grass-fed, we're talking about grass-fed cows and stuff for milk. Are you limited, I mean, on acreage-wise, because of how much the cows, I mean, maybe this is, how much the cows uh, take in? I mean, can you, are you limited how many, how many, how many animals you can have on acreage to sustain that grass so you don't lose that grass and then how are you going to feed your animals? I mean, because you're talking about teaching farming. I, on our farm, we feed only grass to our cows, no grain at all. And yes, you are limited. Uh, I move my cows every day or two. I recently rented some other organic ground to move eight of my cows there because on my immediate farm, I was getting a little overcrowded. And so, yes, you're limited with the amount of grass. If I do a better job taking care of my soil, I'll produce more grass. But so, yes, it's a limiting factor. I, I farm about 100 acres besides on my immediate farm to raise hay for my cattle over the winter. Where is your farm and what do you sell and where can we buy it? Uh, my farm is in Western Perry County, Juju Acres Farm, and my wife does the selling. We deliver in Carlisle once a month, we deliver in Harrisburg once a month. You can also come to our farm and purchase. Call ahead, tell us if you're coming. I'm coming Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the question. <laughs> I said I'm coming Thursday. <laughs> Don't try to change the whole world in one day. 
take ten dollars, okay, this week, put it on that food. Believe me, a revolution will occur when you get 370,000 people um, doing that. That makes a huge. If we could just get 10% of that market, that 900 million dollar market, that's 90 million dollars going right back into our local county, getting young farmers going, buying more tractors, buying, keeping the local economy growing. You imagine the number of we're talking about jobs in this election. You remember you know, yeah. the number of jobs that just 10% of that market would create. So yeah. just 10%. I'm preaching to the choir here. I know that. So I, I'm not doing. Really, but you need to go out and really become really ex educate, come to the Horn Farm, find, get our materials and get it out there and get, get your neighbors buying this local food because this is the answer. And you're, you're only going to stop the big corporation not by railing against them, but by outdoing them, showing them, you know, building a better mousetrap. That's what you got to do. And we, we can do that. We're doing it. And I, I'm very positive about it. I, I'm looking back at Lisa back there and thinking, how much you, how happy is if you got even 10% of people Mean yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, based on the comment that the, the question the gentleman had about the, how many cattle for your land, um, if you're really trying to be sustainable, you're only going to put as many animals as your land can support. I mean, the government, at least in my township, doesn't regulate how many cattle I can have on my property. We have 55 acres, and I mean, I can put a few animals on there. But you know, right now we have 40 head, and that's all I can really support adequately. You know, to give how we have grass and not have water. You know, I don't want runoff, and I don't want a lot of mud. So I want them grass fed, and in order to do that, I don't want any more than 40 pounds. That's it. I mean, even then, 40 is kind of pushing. So but we still feed a lot of hay with the grass. Um, they enjoy that. And I'm sorry, could you introduce yourself oh, to the rest sorry, of the I'm audience? And Rory obviously knows you. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Lisa Mansberger. Uh, we have M&M Farm in Glen Rock, and I also have a stand at Central Market, and I sell grass-fed um, Highland beef. And then I also purchase uh, products from Lancaster Farm Fresh uh, to, to just have other inventory in our market stand. So I do sell chicken, goose, nothing, sorry, duck, turkey. Like, um, pork, lamb. <laughs> yeah, the, the, other, the other movement that's really big and that's really taking off, and you all know about it, I'm sure, and all of our farmers at the Horn Farm belong to it, is our community supported agriculture. Mm -hmm. that, that way, by again, by selling shares of their, they can know in advance, they get, they have a better control of their of their income that way, and that that is making a big difference. All of our farmers are supporting that, the ones that we're uh, that are in training at the Horn Farm. That, that's going to make a big difference. And I would say, they mentioned Dave Deese, okay? Dave Deese was supposed to be here. He was supposed to be here doing this tonight, but he couldn't make it for, for personal reasons. But Dave is an organic farmer. And he, if you want to buy organic food here in York City, go to the Central Market. There's Dave. He's there every, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I guess. It's, uh, and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thursday, Saturday, okay. My wife does all the shopping. Like that. We go there. We get our food. So that's uh, that's the way to do it. But there are other places too. You don't. That's not the only one. Okay. Yeah. Farm stands all over. We have a book that shows you where every farm stand is in the county. So if you want to get locally grown food, you can get it. So I all the other yeah. Well, I have one over here, and then we'll come back to you. Okay. Hi, I'm Francie Delaney. I'm from Transition York, and I just want to challenge the students here to try to get more proactive or active with, you know, talking to the cafeteria, talking to the folks here to make sure that you can get local food and you want to start a garden, that's part of what we're all about. We work with food and water, transportation, energy, as well as um, other parts, economic issues and things like that. So that's something that really calls you, that's something that could, you know, pretty easily be done. Um, if you've got, like, again, if you've got people, you've got consumers, you are the consumers here, they need to listen to you. You know, let your voice be heard. Absolutely. Thank you. I see I think They're trying. We've been trying. And I have garden space, if, you know, I'm not too far away, so if you need garden space, if they don't give it to you here, let me know. <coughs> Oh, yeah, no, we got denied for it last year, so come speak to me. Where are you?
York City. I'm over near the hospital. You know, it's, yeah. it's urban. You'll be doing some urban farming. It's not going to be a huge production, but it will be something. Are you in a chair? No. But we do have our meetings there. Um, just as a little bit of background, our, our student group, we, we used to have a community garden here on campus, um, and the student group has been trying for a few years now to kind of reinvent that. Part of the problem is the students aren't here during the summer, and so kind of managing that is a little bit of a kind of administrative problem. But now with our new building project, they decided to use that as the staging ground for the construction, and so we just kind of lost that space this year. There was plans for another space to be utilized on campus, but it just didn't happen, and that they are working on it, and maybe a different site is probably a better suggestion yeah. than to keep uh, keep kind of rehashing. I'm sure we could even talk to the UUCY. Um, they've got a lot of land there, so I mean, there's a lot of options. If you want to do something, we can help you with that. We'd be more than happy. There's a lot of demand in the community for a community garden. We, we opened up 120 by 20 plots at the Horn Park. They were all taken just like that, and there's a waiting list. So uh, it, the people want to grow their own food too, even on a small scale, on that small family scale. But uh, the horn—that's the other function of the horn farm. We, we have community gardens plots. So they're all taken right now. So but we're very pleased by that. So that's another hopeful sign. It shows people are really getting control. We've got to get local control. Thank you, Willa. There's a York County chapter of Buy Fresh by Local. This is a national um, organization. And just this year, first time ever, a York County local food guide was produced. So funds were very limited. So I think we only committed about 5000 But if you go online to York, uh, Buy Fresh by Local York County, there's a listing of like local farms and what they have and stuff. So really avail yourself of that because there's really wonderful food here. And the more that, you know, I, if you saw food eat, the very last line was just phenomenal. Basically it said, you know, farmers are pretty ingenious people. If you demand it, we'll grow it. So the more that we demand, you know, local sustainably raised products, the more the farmers are going to grow it for us.